Day one, John with Owl Vans. This is our Ford Transit. It's a cargo. Very impressive. Uh, what we're trying to do right now is figure out how we are going to mount our tire carrier. One of the issues with the Ford Transit, the doors are definitely um, less heavy duty than the Sprinter. There is a lot of flex in the doors. It's very, very thin sheet metal. So we got to find places where we can make sure that we get a strong attachment when you slam the door and you've got the weight of a 70 pound tire that after a while it's not going to cause any problems so we're trying to figure that out the other thing is so much like the mercedes sprinter you've got a hinge that articulates at a separate rate than the door so we are going to have to use our patent pending sway link and we've looked at a bunch of different ways to handle this and two things i'm thinking one is the easiest is probably to drill this out and use our hinges that we already make for the Sprinter van. That would be pretty cut and dry. And then in here, where you kind of see this void, I don't like boxes with ump inside. So we're probably going to create some sort of bracket that's going to seal that box off and add some rigidity here. Because on the bottom hinge, the force is going to be towards the van. And on the upper hinge, the force is going to be away from the van. So on the upper hinge, we're actually going to make a plate that ties the upper hinge more into the van and on the bottom plate we're going to make uh, basically a, a plate that allows it to push this bottom hinge to push into this strong support so uh, that's the basic idea to start we will see where we end up uh, fingers crossed that it goes smoothly all right we've got the drill and we are going to drill on a van that has exactly 57 miles on it but it's just a hinge and the great thing about the hinges is they're fairly inexpensive so if we screw anything up, we'll just replace the hinge. When you're drilling with metal, or steel in this case, typically your drill has two settings. You want to put it on the slow, higher torque setting. You don't want the drill bit to get too hot, because it will dull. Alrighty. There we have it. Hole number one. You see that? There you go. Come on. Come on. You want to. You want to. Okay, so what we did, we drilled our top hole kind of as a test hole. And it's a little bit off center because you've got to clear this with the bolt. And then, and we will figure out how we're going to do the bolts later. But I took this bolt. Just kind of shaved off a little bit of the edges there. It's still got plenty of meat on the, plenty of flange on this side. So now, look at that. Goes right in. That works. It clears this. And now we shut the door. that that is ready for that so we get two of those I'll drill a second one we get two of those going and then some nuts and do it to both hinges and we should be making some progress it's in and we've got one hole on top, one hole on the bottom. Will this fit or do I need to drill it out? Oh, I well, do it with the door slightly closed. I get better clearance. Oh, 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 we're getting close. Yes. It would just fit that. That's fine. All right, we've got two bolts in, two screws. So these we use for our carriers to just kind of protect the paint and then put this on there pretty happy with that it needs to be tightened how we're going to drill the tire carrier i'm thinking now unfortunately with the sprinter van we can do it with a no drill on the transit there is nothing here there's this which on the mercedes is what you get up over here but this, even if we remove this, it's way too close to the hinges to articulate. So we're gonna have to probably go in right here because it's got a couple of bends in the in the sheet metal. 
Bends obviously add strength. So if we put a hole up here, it's also double walled on the back. It's gonna be pretty strong. That also allows us a center line, a nice center line right across kind of where this logo is to mount the tire kind of right there. So that's the plan. I'm running out of energy and daylight. So I will continue working on this, but I think it's not bad for day one.